Oh, hey everyone, Logan's Farm here. And, you know, it's been a really nice day out. It's uh, Sunday, I don't know what the date is, 20, 22nd today? 7th. 27th, sorry. Uh, let me just confirm this because I don't really pay attention. 28th. Oh, it's 28th today, but it was beautiful, nice. It got up to 80 some degrees. And now I came home and got the grill fired up because I'm going to grill some steaks. I actually put a picture up on the fan page of these here steaks. Nice, nice T-bone steaks. So that's another benefit to following me on Facebook. You can see shit like that. I'm not necessarily always make a video of stuff I do, but just look at the nice clouds that are rolling over. It's actually kind of lightly sprinkling out. And the wind picked up and the temperatures dropped quite a bit, but it's still, you know, I'm out here in a t-shirt, wife beater, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I kind of can't see through the tree so well, but it is uh, coming down with a little light rain. You can see some interesting uh, clouds. But yeah, but it's still nice weather. Could grill up some brats and some uh, steaks here and uh, have a wonderful evening. It's Sunday, so I gotta work in the morning. Bummer. I uh, didn't get as much done as I wanted to this weekend. Uh, went to change the oil on the old uh, wagon today and couldn't get the fucking filter off. I didn't have the right wrench. And I tried to do a homemade job. I made a kind of a filter wrench, one of them ones that's like a rope. And it just twists tight until it goes. But I ended up punching a hole in the filter. Couldn't get it off. And now the filter's all crumpled up and shit. So I'm about to get the, a proper one from work to use. Borrowed one from 92 Green Z34. And I actually crumpled the filter bad enough that it wouldn't grip it. And actually, even if the filter wasn't crumpled, it probably wouldn't come off anyways because it's so fucking tight. Because I was going to do the oil change on that and do brakes on it and do on the Malibu. But once I got that far into it and the car's in the way now, so it's just sitting there on the stands waiting. I'll get the wrench from work tomorrow and redo that after work. So that pretty well killed most of my day. So now we're grilling and going to have a good evening. And yeah, hopefully uh, I'll get Big Red going maybe this week if I can figure out the exact problem. But it's going to get going either way. And I'm grilling, so obviously I'm drinking a beer. Got some Ham's beer. It's Sunday, so I can't buy a beer, but I borrowed some from my grandpa. And it's nice enough out that you got Madison out playing. She'll be turning one here shortly in a couple days. Uh, the first of May, she'll be one. It's been a long while, hasn't it, guys? Yeah, I'm going to keep grilling and uh, watch this weather roll in. So this is just kind of a little short, up-to-date video, I guess, again. Um, I got another video uh, to upload yet that's kind of more interesting, but still kind of random as shit. Uh, once this weather cooperates and we get uh, vehicles rolling, it will be better. Uh. I was going to rotate the tires on the Oldsmobile because I got two on the front that are two different sizes because I had a blowout the other day, but I think just for driving to work one more day I'll be fine with it. I'm not going to, since the weather started getting shitty, I'm not going to worry about it now, but the Explorer's got a busted axle on the driver's side and two lug nuts snapped off on the driver's side, so I got to replace that whole hub, which is the wheel bearing and all. So. I'll just go down into the junkyard and get a used set, but I'll get an axle and a wheel bearing while I'm there doing it anyways, so. But I might not be driving that much more on the road, but it'll still be here for videos and stuff. And I think uh, it's pretty well confirmed that I'm going to be buying an S10 pickup off 92 Green Z34, his maroon S10. Um sometime here shortly in the future it needs a radiator so he's got to get one for it and then I can get it I got the money for it and yeah it's the one you've seen in a few videos of mine and maybe some of his videos if you watch his stuff but he's keeping the nice 31 inch tires but oh well it's still a pretty good deal I need another vehicle anyways for work so it'll do me good and I know what the truck's been through and all that and it's been beat up a little bit but you know I'd rather buy a vehicle that's been beat on before than one that's never been beat on because they usually die quicker anyways. 
you get a vehicle and you start beating the hell out of it when it's got like 300,000 miles and you've never, it's never been beat on, you start beating on them and they die a lot faster. And the S10 has, you know, never been really, it's been, uh, it's been beat on, but Josh has maintained it, kept it going. So I know it'll take some abuse and it won't, you know, shit out of me the second day I own it, but. So I'm, I'll be pretty happy with that. Plus it actually, I'll actually have another pickup that I can use because I can cut my Explorer off my insurance pretty quick so that'll save me a little bit of money and, well it won't save me money because I'll probably put the S10 on there but I can still have the same amount of vehicles but I have more usable vehicles on insurance. But that should be all for now guys so uh, thanks for watching and we'll get some more as we go. Yeah we're back again. I guess I'll add on to my other video. Uh, it is now actually raining. You can see the old furred over there is getting wet. The driveway is getting moist. The Oldsmobile, you can definitely tell that's getting wet. Uh, I'm sorry, I've been drinking so I feel a little good. A little wobbly on the camera, but... Mm. Oh boy! Uh, what do we got? We got 10 brats grilling. We got uh, 5 beer brats and 5 uh, cheddar brats. Yeah, they're kind of popping a bit. I'm not too concerned. As long as they're cooked, they taste good. Got the T-bones. Ooh, a little spice up there. But T-bones got a little char on them. Now we move them over here to the cooler side and just let them finish slow cooking. Um, am, I am I a professional cook by any means? No. So, you know, if I don't do it the way you guys do it or you think I'm doing it wrong, I probably am. And that's fine. Because, you know, when it's all said and done, if it tastes good to me, who gives a fuck? Whew. But yeah, the weather's kind of letting go, or letting loose out here. But actually, it's, it's nice over that way, and that's where this is coming from. So I think it's just going to be a small little storm we got coming over. I'm going to go back in here now. I'm getting a little wet, but yeah. You can see it's moving over that way. We're probably, if this is really all it is from there to there, we're probably about in the middle of it when it started. Like, we're actually really hard raining. And it'll probably be over in the next hour or so, if that. But, anyways, again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, get more videos coming. So, weather's being nice, so we should have a lot more shit going on. I actually took my Mosin out today and shot it. Um, I got some steel core rounds from 92 Green Z34. I bought a uh, part of a box or a case or whatever off of him. And I shot a few, well, I shot probably 10 rounds throughout the day. Now I gotta clean it because they're corrosive rounds. So clean that here in a little bit when I get done cooking. But hopefully we'll have some more gun videos and uh, get vehicles going. Shit like that. Maybe some more of Josh's Deuce because everybody loves that. And we'll just see where everything goes. You can see the wind's kind of whipping around the old... Well, it kind of slowed down now. It was whipping her pretty hard when I was talking there, but... The old cedar tree. But yeah, get more shit coming. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.